world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I've shared my experiences of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I enjoy giving my two cents as far as um, what's going on with our media and in our society. And finally, I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism. And those two examples are, in three weeks, I will be going to Furry Weekend Atlanta 2015, and I will be doing several blogs there with my guest co-host, Andrew Dixon. Now, he came to Dragon Con 2014 with me, and I just thought it worked out really, really well. Um, and before that uh, will be the 2015 My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 5 premiere, and I will be uh, covering footage on that in reviews. And like everybody else, we, I have had to wait a year for season five to begin. In the meantime, though, I am going to continue to uh, cover topics that revolve around living on the autism spectrum. And what I want to do is talk about uh, autism and uh, dating and marriage and similar situations. Because I want to share with you what it's like for someone like me to struggle with those things. And... I wanted to uh, talk about uh, my experiences of um, dealing with people who are supposed to be my friends and they suddenly um, have a special someone in their life. And I would like to uh, talk about um, an experience that was very frustrating for me back when I was in school. And I was only 14 years old and uh, one of my friends who was about to turn 12, actually she was uh, my best friend. And she was about to turn 12, and we were talking about her birthday party because I was about to go out of town with my family for two weeks. And when uh, we were on the phone, she talked about she had gotten herself a haircut, and how it was cute and curly, and I said I couldn't wait to see it. And then she blurted, blurted out, oh, guess what, Maya? I've got a boyfriend. And I said, what's their name? And uh, she said that... Uh, his name was the same name as the guy who I had mentioned earlier. I thought um, he was my boyfriend, and I thought, oh, two of them. We've got two boy, so we both have boyfriends now. That was my mindset. And so I was just really excited about it. I didn't really think much of it. And then uh, I uh, came back from my trip, and I uh, asked my friend who was all going to be there. And it just turned out that it was going to be her boyfriend, and his friend and myself, and then her fam, her par her family, which is her mother, her, her mother and her half brother. So we went on this camping trip, and uh, her boyfriend was there, and he, and uh, his friend was there, and I was there. And it was during that time that I noticed that she didn't ha suddenly she just didn't have time for me. And I, I remember wanting to go into a bathroom with her when she had to use the restroom, and she pushed me out and said, "Nope." I'm sorry, I need some space to myself. And during that entire camping trip, uh, she and her boyfriend ignored me and she kept spent and she kept spending time with him and his friend. And then uh, she kept manipulating me and saying, "Well, my husband, my boyfriend's got a headache. Can you please go get the Tylenol for us?" And I was trying to sleep. And her mother thought that I was having an attitude and I wasn't being very nice. And then when I apologized, she said, oh, never mind. You were just jealous that um, the other two people were here and you're just not used to it. And it was after that and she suddenly lost her interest in me. And then I, I wasn't even uh, acting like a teenager. I mean, I was functioning maybe at the level of um, a seven-year-old. I mean, I still like Disney cartoons. I mean... I still uh, had a lot of poor social skills that I had to work on, but I just remember uh, feeling like she couldn't understand me anymore because she was becoming a teenager and I still wanted to be a kid in so many ways. And it was like that with junior high, so I was very upset about it. Anyway, um, we're out of time. I, what I would like you to do is um, post your questions and comments below. And you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel and share my video footage with your support groups. And you can share them with your um, special education teachers. You can share them with um, other young adolescents that are struggling with similar situations that 
like cartoons such as My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, whatever. Uh, either way, um, I will see you next time, and I'm Maya Sendermeyer.